teaming together on hydrogen-powered blended wing aircraft is Natalis and Zero Avia. Due to a relationship with Zero Avia, which will provide a 600 kW hydrogen electric engine alternative, the blended wing Natalis Kona aircraft, which is now flying in quarter-scale tests in California, is believed to feature a zero-emissions variant. Testing of the Zay 600 powertrain has already begun. When it first took off, the 1-0 Avia was the biggest hydrogen-powered aircraft ever built. The company's objective is to have it fully bundled and approved and powering clean commercial flights by 2025. The Kona demonstrator, which is now being built at full size, is planned to be the biggest commercial UAV in the world. Next American Moon Landing by SpaceX As part of the Artemis program, NASA is preparing to launch astronauts to the Moon for additional lunar exploration, and the agency has chosen SpaceX to continue developing the first commercial human lander that will safely deliver the next two American astronauts to the lunar surface, at least one of whom will make history as the first woman on the Moon. Another objective of the Artemis program is to land the first person of color on the lunar surface. 2024 will see the introduction of the 750 km per hour Rolls-Royce jet engine flying automobile idea. The Rolls-Royce engine powers this bizarre flying automobile idea known as the air car, which can travel 3200 km at a top speed of 750 km per hour. The air automobile features a four-engine flight system, and its rotors double as its wings. The 6-meter long, ultralight carbon Monaco that is part of Pier Paolo Lazzarini's air car concept features rotatable Rolls-Royce jet engines that can independently adjust their inclination and rotation, ensuring stability and excellent turning maneuverability. The first smart wearable to stop common hair loss will be available in May 2023. Nastem is an innovative firm that designs technology with the goal of enabling better living by reactivating stem cells to unleash the body's regenerative potential. With its groundbreaking scientific technology, developed through more than 15 years of stem cell research and four years of research and development, Nastem, a German technology startup, recently launched to market their smart wearable to combat common hair loss through an Indiegogo campaign. This technology amplifies the body's regenerative power to regrow hair and stop common hair loss, also known as pattern baldness. It has been demonstrated that Niastem's method of stem cell reactivation technology, which wakes latent hair follicle stem cells to stimulate physiological hair regeneration, is 6x more successful. Municipal Solid Waste Collection is brought to smart city standards by an automatic waste collection system specifically created for subterranean conveyance of solid municipal waste. This vacuum is used to transport waste and raw materials through an underground pipe. Network into the garbage center's containers, waste inlets with automated doors are sanitary, touchless, and may be constructed for people to enjoy a smart, safe, and hygienic city environment. This is a crucial component in the battle against pandemics. The local garbage collection system enables users to sort and recycle layout after using RFID or a QR code to authenticate their access. People's garbage recycling behavior is analyzed using AI and big data, and from there, incentives and education are provided. The French business even provides Michelin dining on its Celeste eco-friendly spacecraft which features a luxurious cabin created by an architect in breathtaking vistas of Earth. Plus hours of the overview effect above the planet, a French company plans to transport visitors to the stratosphere for three hours while floating 15.5 miles above Earth's surface in a stylish, mirrored capsule held aloft by a balloon. The capsule was created by the architect behind some of Paris's most renowned restaurants. The company, Zafalto, will launch the 215-square-foot Celeste capsule in collaboration with Nice, the French National Space Agency. My Eye Pro is the only wearable artificial vision device that can be activated by an intuitive pointing gesture or simply by following the wearer's gaze, enabling hands-free use without the need for a smartphone or Wi-Fi. The My Eye Pro can be trained to recognize faces and will also identify products by reading barcodes, colors, and bangouts, as well as reading out your favorite books. 
It is magnetically mounted on the wearer's eyeglasses frame and weighs less than an ounce. Magazines and newspapers, My Eye Pro can read signs and can also give you the time and date by looking at your wrist as if it were a watch. This means that in addition to assisting you in reading the menu at your favorite coffee shop, offered for purchase for $270,000. One of the most outrageous camper concepts we've seen is now a reality. The Romano Caravan was first unveiled more than 10 years ago, and it appeared to be a one-and-done concept. It was created by an architecture and design firm, and at the time of introduction, it only existed as renderings and looked entirely fanciful. However, in late 2018 it was learned that the Romano was actually headed for production, and now another four years later it is here. The production-ready version still adheres to the original concept and is loaded with amenities. Hypercar that runs on hydrogen. That x one is advertised to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.2 seconds, but that promise is actually just a hook. Petrol infrastructure. Building its own fueling stations and a network similar to Tesla's superchargers will be the first step Hyperion will take to address the infrastructure issue. However, Hyperion claims that the XP1 offers more than 1,000 miles of range, 10-16 miles at a mix of 55% city and 45% highway driving, so it won't require as many stations. To double the range of a fuel cell automobile, you just utilize a larger tank as increasing battery range is a gradual process. That is only one of the benefits that Carpentary's hopes would persuade the public that hydrogen is the best battery out there. This newly unveiled vessel is powerful and rigged to cross oceans, and instead of a conventional helicopter, a flying car can land and launch from a touch-and-go pad on board. The future of Explorer Yachts is here, with amazing range with zero emissions the latest technology, as well as a special partnership with an electric vertical takeoff and landing manufacturer Silent Yacht. Off the grid water gen on board is an innovative atmospheric water generator system that can be installed on top of a vehicle with a tap for constant convenient access to premium quality drinking water. This aftermarket product can be installed on buses, motorhomes, RVs, trains, boats and even static remote rest and recuperation facilities. On board is a game changer in the automotive industry because it provides on-the-go fresh water anywhere including while traveling or working on site. Water to Nobility delivers fast fresh drinking water while minimizing plastic waste, enhancing the feature set of a vehicle, and addressing convenience. Passengers and drivers will never run out of water again. Environmental and Logistical Difficulties As a primary source of power, Hitachi Rail announced last week that 20 Triber trains, dubbed Blues, are now operating on rail lines throughout Italy. The trains have the ability to switch between battery power, electricity, and diesel. They can travel about 10 miles solely on batteries, which recharge as the train moves down the tracks. Batteries can refuel whenever the train is stopping, or they can draw electricity from an overhead power line. The Julia Buckley train for CNN comprises three to four carriages that can carry up to 300 passengers. The trains are composed of 93% recyclable materials and have a theoretical top speed of 100 miles per hour. Drone aficionados are buzzing with anticipation as a fresh image reveals what may be the DJI Mini 4 as it sparks intrigue with a leaked shot. The front two arms of the drone's front two have vertical feet, which immediately catch the eye in the leaked images released by Jasper Ellens earlier today on his Twitter account. Anyone who is familiar with the DJI Mini 3 is familiar with this function. Intriguingly, the DJI Mini 3 Pro lacks these feet, prompting rumors that we may be seeing the DJI Mini 4 during a product test flight rather than its more powerful sibling, the DJI Mini 4 Pro. Drawing similarities from the drone business, one can't help but realize that this is a possibility. Systems to discuss about the possibilities for an innovation project. Six wind turbines would be installed on the MPS floating platform Pillowflix in waters between 60 and 100 meters deep, with a total capacity of 100 megawatts. Marine Power Systems has partnered with Simply Blue Group to develop a project proposal for the innovation and targeted oil and gas and tog leasing round managed by Crown Estate Scotland. 
Over 10 gigawatts of floating offshore wind projects are now being developed worldwide by Simply Blue Group, a top blue economy developer with an emphasis on floating wind. This most recent partnership is a part of the roving offshore wind project that was started earlier this year. The first glimpse at Brand's new design direction is provided by Electrifying Vision. Detroit the Wildcat EV concept was produced by Buick to communicate the brand's brand new design direction as it transitions to an all-electric future. This design language will impact Buick production vehicles for the foreseeable future. According to the Wildcat EV concept, which represents the genuine design future for the company, Buick's new TriShield logo, positioned prominently on the body front and back, symbolizes the design transition. New production models will begin wearing it in 2019. Global Buick and GMC Design Executive Director Sharon Gossi. Buick has always been a forward-thinking brand, and this statement offers a peek of our future and our enthusiasm for the limitless.